Marcus Anderson makes just his fourth overall appearance and third start this season. Gavin Wetzel and Carlos Rojas will join the back line of Francis Westfield and Neil Pierre. And for those two making starts this today as well. Now let's take a look at Chattanooga for Coach Rod Underwood. The 4-3-3, just one change from their loss to Crown Legacy 2-1. Callum Watson enters the starting lineup. He'll make just his second start of the season. Player to watch for Chattanooga is Matty Womry. Seven goals on the year, and Womry has gotten better and better as the year has gone on. He's excellent with his back to goal, a strong body, and when he finds himself in possession, is an excellent finisher, and he will have Taylor Gray to find him sitting right behind him in that shape on the day. Philadelphia celebrating a couple of great feats at the first team level. We'll have two Olympians this year, Jack McGlynn and Nate Harriel. Players that have graced the Subaru Park field for Philadelphia Union 2. Just showcasing that the pathway is alive and well. Ricardo Montero looks at his whistle. Excuse me, looks at his watch, blows his whistle, and we begin Philadelphia and Chattanooga off and rolling in the Eastern Conference. And Womry tried to go around Rojas, but he was unsuccessful. Wonderfully done by Anderson. And Philadelphia racing forward. Ball to Davis, and the shot hits the back of the net. A beautiful buildup for Philadelphia, and they find themselves ahead 1-0. Nine goals now for Edward Davis, and Philadelphia scores in a blink of an eye. The 1-2 played so keenly, and for C.J. Olney, a pinpoint pass. They got behind quickly two Red Bulls in that match. So I have a feeling that Coach LeBlanc made a note to let his team know that they could not come out stagnant. Sullivan always tends to find himself in the right space. Come back against this Philadelphia side. But once again, guess who's free? Matty Womry. Womry tries to flip it over the goalkeeper. And Neil Pierre made that tougher. Walmery ends up with it again. Has reinforcements, but Walmery shoots for himself. And it's stopped by Michael Sheridan. They will not let you go through them centrally. As Gray once again tries to play a perfect ball to Womry. And Matty Womry's in the box. Womry's cross is blocked away by Neil Pierre. He's been in his back pocket all match. But Chattanooga has their first corner of the day. Garbanyan sends the ball in. Wonderfully done. Dufon Villafara ties this match. What a ball in. Villafara just steps up and snaps his header into the back of the net. Year. Excellent ball to Edward Davis. Davis shoots. A rocket right at Jean Antoine. Back. No one wants to retain possession right now. And now McGrath sprays in front. Alex McGrath takes the long shot. 
And Michael Sheridan. That's the first half whistle. We are knotted up at one apiece at the half. Ricardo Montero is our head referee. Takes a look at his watch, blows his whistle, and we begin the second half between Chattanooga and Philadelphia. Early on, Jake Kwok mentioned that he was moved to this side to battle with Francis Westfield. Foul way behind the plate as Kevin Sullivan tried to swerve around. Play restarted by Philadelphia. Anderson, Central, sends out to Wetzel. Rojas, Westfield, Kevin Sullivan scores! His second in as many matches. And Kevin Sullivan gives Philadelphia the lead 2-1. Sullivan at 14 has now scored in back-to-back -back matches. He had the game winner versus New England in the 2-1 victory. And this time on his preferred left foot left. And that has high importance. Ball lost to Sullivan. Quickly to Davis. Coming in is Vasquez. And he overcooks the shot. Viafara. Anderson. And Gene Antoine commits the foul. Viafara, who scored the goal, made the mistake. And a yellow card will be shown to Gene Antoine as he undercut Marcus Anderson. Marcus Anderson continued forward. And Antoine was the last line. Prepolita was behind him, so that's why there's no red. So Antoine was not the last line because Prepolita had made his way behind. If that was not the case, then that could have been a red. And that's what Francis Westfield is talking about. Now, the yellow is being taken away, and it will be a red. Gavin Sullivan will come off. Currently, he has the game-winning goal for Kyle Tucker. And Leandro Zoria will come on as well. Union two substitutions, leaving the match. Number six, Gavin Sullivan, along with number 77, Eddie Davis. Edward Davis comes off. Entering the match, number 45, Leandro Soria. So Philadelphia substitutes its two goal scorers for two players that also have the ability to score goals. Leandro Zoria scoring earlier this year. He has one goal on the season. And Kyle Tucker has three goals and is a set-piece specialist. Jonathan Burke currently trying to set the wall. Cheating a bit to his left. And now Westfield, Pierre, trying to block the vision of Burke. Kyle Tucker just over the crossbar. Perez right to Olney. And Chattanooga would do well just to get this ball out of harm's way. Given up. Slid in. Marcus Anderson blocked. The second shot hits the back of the net. Leandro Zoria scores again. And he has his second goal of the season as a substitute. Ball just slid right to Zoria after the shot from Marcus Anderson. 
And Zoria has come on as a sub. Now Gavin Wetzel on the edge of the box. Vasquez loads up. Just wide of the mark with Taylor Gray at the back post. Now Alex McGrath sends the ball in. And another good ball. Another great chance for Chattanooga. This portion of the match is brought to you by Torque, the global leader in professional hygiene. 86 minute of action, Philadelphia in front by two goals, two second half goals, one by Kevin Sullivan, the other by substitute Leandro Zoria. And Philadelphia is looking for more now. Marcus Anderson. Sends the ball too high and out of play. Not a bad effort with Chattanooga retreating. Up next for Philadelphia, they'll take on NYCFC on the road, then go on the road to Historic Crew Stadium for returning home against FC Cincinnati. For a team that's at the top of the Eastern Conference, hasn't done very many things wrong this season. They have not beaten FC Cincinnati this year. Two losses, the last loss is at home, 2-0. They will be ready for that match. Marcus Anderson with it now. Back to Berdesio. Now Sanders and Gabo. Central to Padiano. Passes out to Wetzel. Wetzel slips it to Zoria. And Leandro Zoria can't believe he doesn't have goal number two. It's a nice little run behind off the shoulder, but could not place it in the back of the net. Philadelphia will have a corner, and they will not be in a rush. Kyle Tucker, this outswinger, Francis Westfield got ahead to it and put it over the crossbar. Kevin Sullivan scoring early, giving Philadelphia a 2-1 lead. Philadelphia looking for more goals right now. This is a shot. And Sanders and Gabo just wide as he tries to go join the scoring party. Fourth official announcing a minimum of seven minutes of added time. And Gabo just missing there. Final goal was scored by Leandro Zoria. He now has two goals on the season himself. Sullivan now has two goals, scoring in back to back matches. And Chattanooga is in danger of dropping three straight for the first time this year. Such a strong start to the season. Took the league by storm, battling at the top of the Eastern Conference for the first half of the year. And have hit a rough patch over these past five matches. Including this match, they have not come out victorious. It will be three losses in their last five. If this scoreline holds, CJ Olney works back to Berdesio. Ball finds Gavin Wetzel. Terriano makes the run. Soria steps up and ends up on the pitch. Now Pierre. Looping ball bounces to CJ Olney. Sanders and Gabo 
lines it up. First ball is stopped. And Gabo now to Anderson, looking for goal. And it just slides past. And although they were looking for it late, Philadelphia will have to wait for 40 goals on the year. But they now have 11 wins on the season.